Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have three Scripto View lighters, a couple of the large size and one of the small. I'm not exactly sure about the dates, except for I'm sure that they're all 1962 or later. We're going to discuss these lighters today, and I'm going to give you a few reasons why I don't typically buy Scripto Views, using these as examples. One of them may be a working lighter, two of them definitely have problems. The first one is an advertising lighter for Central Rigging and Contracting Corp. It is very clean didn't appear as though it had been used hardly at all. The wick seemed like it was in pretty good condition, though it was singed a little bit. But I wiped a little bit of dust out of the cap and around the chimney. And it seemed pretty good. It holds fluid in the tank okay. For those of you who have not used a Scripto View lighter before, they are filled through the bottom and they do not have wadding as a typical petrol lighter would. But rather, you can see the amount of fuel you have left. I think this system is probably not near as efficient as the wadding system. but they are worked with a valve that you tip you manipulate the valve and fluid goes down into this upper chamber where it comes in contact with your wick now I believe this lighter will spark and it did light but it's not what I would call a working lighter let's see if it how it acts here looks like it's burning okay right now so maybe it would be okay to use if you were careful with it but earlier when I went to replenish the upper reservoir with fuel and hit the valve and let the fluid seep down in there I ended up with my hand all wet as you can see maybe not as bad as it did earlier anyway I wouldn't trust this lighter just let yet I will um, work with it a little bit more haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with them if you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters ashtrays tobacchiana and other useful mechanisms please subscribe to the channel please like the video you're watching Tell your friends about the channel, hit that share button, send the link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like Dependable Flame and dependableflame.com across all the social media platforms that'll be Facebook, Twitter
Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. I only have one of these flint mechanisms that seems to want to work, so I'm going to interchange it as I show you each of these lighters. This lighter didn't appear as though it leaked when you let the fluid into the upper reservoir. But it appeared as though it might be leaking up around the wick. No big deal there. But if it's leaking around the seam then that could be a problem and that's why I didn't go any further than I did with it while ago is it seemed like maybe that there was a leak in that seam and that the lighter even when you closed the lid it was trying to flame up down here feels solid and I've never had any part in re-gluing any of the plastic or anything like that that lid is definitely a little clunky so maybe that is not as big a problem as I thought it might be earlier as I said that did not leak my hand did not get wet well it did just then so maybe I confused those maybe that one was the one that was leaking the valve maybe this one was another problem anyway I'm not sure and I'm also not sure if the smaller Scripto views actually use the same flint mechanism or not you can see how that lid you can see the mechanism the spring mechanism there and I don't know this one isn't operating as smooth as you would like so you might have to see about taking that apart and seeing what that looks like later We'll probably also later do a video on re-wicking one of these because I get video or I get questions on that all the time. Make sure you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store. Every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America, with at least... 10% of each purchase going to the charity. We also have three penny start auctions each month where I provide free shipping. High bidder gets the lighter, pays the money, which the charity receives 100% of. And everybody is happy. That is all facilitated through eBay and PayPal. The smaller lighter, I believe, is from a later time frame. The only reason I think that is the metal band on the bottom. I also seem to remember on the OTLS page, somebody a few years ago, maybe... Guy Nishida or one of those guys um, posting a bunch of pictures of Scripto views and talking about how the smaller ones were from later or maybe I misunderstood that anyway this lighter doesn't appear or at least it didn't earlier that I can recall we'll see it doesn't appear to be leaking at all when you manipulate the fuel button
Seems like it would be a constant struggle with the fuel trying to use one of these on a regular basis. I don't know. Anyway, this, well, now it does seem like it's closing. Earlier it didn't seem like it was closing all the way with that flint mechanism in it. So maybe they are all the same. This one was also a uh, looks like a radio station in Connecticut ad lighter pretty cool get that back in its original one before I even it wasn't completely original because I had to scavenge part of this other one because the spring was broke or bent in there this other lighter is a military lighter of some kind, USS Lamore County. It's pretty cool. Can't see through those scratches to read what that is. Anyway, we'll see if any of these hold up well enough to warrant individual videos that I'm able to sell them. Or if these are just collateral. These were just bought in a lot of about 75 other lighters. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to do the video. I do like them. I don't necessarily like that they are majority of them plastic. But I do like the vintage or nostalgic nature of them I wish they worked a little better and I wish that they didn't have so many leaky valves and so many incidental problems that for me just make them not usually worth my time so I usually unless I get a great deal on them then I usually only get these just like table lighters just when they come in a larger lot with some other stuff I've bought anyway there's a look at the scripto view until next time